Well, a dream come true for many kids throughout Clark County. Dozer Day is this weekend and is taking over the Clark County Fairgrounds. Yeah, it's a chance for kids to get up close and personal with heavy construction equipment. That's where Cor Harlan is live this morning with a look at some of the things that kids can check out this weekend. Hey, Cor. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Ken. I'm told uh, maybe even a little bit of a rain might make a little bit of mud here. And, and uh, boy, if kids don't like to play in tractors, they certainly do like to play in mud. This is Amy Grabowski with me here this morning, one of the organizers of this event. This has turned into a real cool event for yes. kids to get their hands, of course, get into the cab of some machinery, actually, and I'm in the 15th year. And I think something that a lot of people overlook about this is a lot of this goes to charity, kids' charity. There were proceeds that they raised from here. Tell me about them a little bit. Well, over the 15 years that we have been out here doing Dozer Day, we have raised $1.4 million for children's charities. And obviously here is our event that's uh, here to educate families about the construction industry and the opportunities, safety, right. and it's been a, a great adventure. And you go a lot of places in the Northwest now, and there are Dozer Days, not just the Clark County Fairgrounds, but uh, the State Fairgrounds in Seattle, a bunch of other places in Eastern Washington too, right? Dozer Day now has six locations nationwide. That's really cool here. Out at the Clark County Fairgrounds, so if you, if you haven't heard of this or done this yet, uh, what they do is they sort of take the rodeo arena out here at the fairgrounds. They bring a bunch of dirt in here, and as you can see, they've got all the excavators lined up. We're going to hop in one in about a half an hour or so here. And essentially, they get to little kids, as little as how, how young they get the kids in here. I can't remember. I've had a five-year-old, six-year-old in here before, I think, right? <laughs> Anytime. The kids are ready to hop into the cab with the operator, they can come out. There's no age limit. We go from zero to 115. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. I see a 115-year-old person. My kids are in my bed this morning. My 12-year-old my daughter, of course, Jenny and Ken, wants nothing to do with her dad. Uh, at this point. She's at that. I've, I've lost contact with her. Uh, the 10 year olds in Seattle and seven year old Corey's got a basketball game tonight. So I'm out, I'm out here for the first time in a couple of years without any, without any kids. So be that as it may, she's here for me here. Jenny and Ken. Well, that, that's good. I've lost contact with my 11 year old. So you're not alone, <laughs> Cor. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like you're on the dark side of the moon with kids at that age, right? You just don't have contact for a while, Yeah. I guess. There's All a right. lot of angst. So you'll just have to be a big kid yeah. out there yourself. <laughs> you yeah. always are. All right. That's <laughs> all. I can do it. I'm up for okay. it. I can do it. Well, again, at Dozer Day.